Good morning, kiddos, and welcome to Roots Science. From now on, every week, a video will be recorded and uploaded answering a science question submitted by students, faculty, and staff here at Roots. Okay, oh crap. And this is the first of those videos. This week, the question was submitted by Alexander Bailey. He asked, is the surface of the sun dry? What a good question. And together, we're gonna answer that question today. Oh, I'm barefoot. Have you guys ever watched the sky during the day? Maybe you were looking at birds, watching the clouds, or contemplating the meaning of life. Well, regardless of what you were doing, I hope you weren't staring at the sun. The sun is a glowing fireball in the sky. And actually, super bad for your eyes if you look right at it. But some of you, while looking at the sky, might have wondered, I wonder what that sun's made of. I wonder what it's doing or what it's like on its surface. Well, with a little help from NASA, some of the people here at Roots, and even some household objects like grapes and microwaves, we can explore a little bit more about what makes the sun what it is. We might be able to tell, is it dry? The surface of the sun, as seen through a telescope, appears to flow similar to waves of the ocean or flames from a campfire. But what really produces this flow of energy is a process called fusion. Fusion is the combining of smaller atomic nuclei, or the guts of smaller atoms, to form larger atoms. The sun does this constantly by fusing hydrogen nuclei into helium in a process that releases immense amounts of energy and heat. <laughs> oh, beautiful. This release of energy gives the sun its unique properties. Unlike ordinary solids, liquids, and gases, the sun does not fit into a typical state of matter. Rather, it's a very unique state of matter referred to as a plasma. Pla plasma, plasma, plasma. It's a state of matter containing a free flow of ions and electrons detached from any atomic nucleus. A few common examples of plasma are lightning, neon lights, and even welding arcs. To get a better understanding about what a plasma is, we can make one at home in this week's demo. And as you guys know, my demos never work. So let's see what we can do here. All you'll need for this demo are a fresh grape, a knife, and a microwave. Start by using your knife to cut the grape in half. Allow the skin to hold the two halves together. Place it in the microwave and set a timer for 30 minutes. Press start and enjoy. knocked over a plant. So in conclusion, looking at this question, looking at the sun, thinking about what a plasma is, can we really answer, is the sun dry? Well, it's not wet, it's not solid, it's not liquid or gas, it's its, its own thing entirely, it's a plasma. So next time you're looking up at the sky and wondering what the sun's made of, just think about microwaving grapes. <laughs>